You are watching a master at work. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do drum brakes. This is my wife's 2014 Jeep Patriot. I'm going to do the drums, take off the rears. I ordered all the parts from O'Reilly. Well, I got them, so we just got to put them on. Alright, so what you're going to need is two to three cans of brake cleaner, anti-seize, the shoes and the drums if you're using new or get the old ones machined. It's better to just do new because you don't know if the old ones are warped and they're cheap so. And we're going to jack the car up. Alright so what you're going to do, you're going to have to kind of break the rust loose of these so they come off like so. It's gonna take probably a little bit of work, but that's what you do is just kinda break that rust, break dust free. Like so. There we go. Like that. So you see the wheel cylinder and the box. You can see the pad material is pretty freaking gone. So yeah, these are probably the original brakes. So we're gonna get these off. Make sure you take a picture of this before you take it apart so you can remember. Okay guys, so today's another day. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't get a chance to show you, but I finished one side of the Jeep. But this one I want to show you more in depth. Because um, it rained a bunch and it was just like not good feeling weather. Crazy wind, so now I'm going to show you how to do it in depth. Kind of smacked myself there when I was pulling on something. So yeah. Okay, so what you're going to do is tap this to get it off because it's going to be seized with rust. Make sure you don't hit the lug stud and kind of wiggle it off. So, I mean look at all the brake dust in here. Look at all that nasty stuff, man. So, let me get rid of all that stuff. So you got your, uh, I got a new drum. Um, I'm replacing the shoes also. I'm not doing the wheel cylinders because the car only has 70,000 miles. So you can see the slack adjuster right here with the springs. The spring hold down for the shoes and then the bottom spring as well as the parking brake line right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and spray it all off with brake cleaner so I can get it clean. Normally you want two cans of brake clean. Something like that. What you're gonna do is, I don't have the tools, but this works. So these springs have a locator pin on them. You gotta push them in and twist them. So I can show you how I do that. I'll literally just do this, grab the end, push in, and twist. Like so. 
So as you can see it pops out. This pops through the back. What I do is I just kind of take it out, this little pin, and set it, orient it the way it came out of the car, right? It's right side, left is left side, you know, pretty easy stuff. Then I'm gonna do this other one. Same concept. There's a tool for this, but I don't really care. Because this is free, and it's easy. So yeah, just gotta make sure you get a good grip on it, and there you go. When you pull her off, make sure you don't damage them because they can be damaged pretty freaking good. Now you got it loose for the most part. All you have to do is pop the springs off, so make sure you know where they come off at. One. There's another one. What you can honestly do is just pull the whole assembly out like so. Parking brake's gonna be attached to one so you can't take it off. So what I like to do is just do this. Take the cylinder out, star wheel adjuster. Set it aside. Take the shoe out, set the spring aside. Grab your other spring. Orient them top to bottom. Take your pin out from the other hold down spring and your slack adjuster fork. This is the interesting one. This is where you flip this around. It kind of comes apart. So it goes like this. So make sure you remember the orientation. It goes like this, up in there. Or sorry, like, like so. Yep, this way. Because the fork goes on the back side. So, you flip that around. And take this clip out. What I kind of do is just use a flathead and kind of pry it open. Stick it in between and kind of pry it open. So as you can see there's that clip. So I need to both hands. Take a little while you can just pop that shoe out and set them how they go. Like so, so you can orient them correctly. There's your parking brake shoe. Uh, your it's basically a tension arm, so when you pull your handbrake, it tightens the shoe so you lock it up. So now let's get the new shoes, but first I'm going to spray this off with more brake cleaner. It. Because it's really dirty. I'm almost out. Take some NICs on your finger. Grease the points where the uh, shoes slide. It's each point pretty much right here. So the brakes don't squeak or make noise and makes it easy. So you'd be like chasing that problem down all day and you wouldn't know. Something so simple. Now that that's done, we'll put this right side on, like so. So what I like to do is kind of fit these. You can tell by which pin goes into the uh, wheel cylinder. Let's fit them into a pin like that. Then it's kind of hard because you have to like hold them together. Take this bottom hold down spring, kind of put it in right there. This is why I like using clean hands because it can get bad. Actually, before I even do this side, let's do the parking brake side first because we got to put that back on. So, 
This side goes to the top, this goes to the bottom. So it's gonna go like this. That's how it's gonna go up, like so. So you flip this guy around and then put the uh, clamp back on here. Basically, you just what I like to do is just get like some pliers or something like this and just like clamp onto there you go just kind of put it on there and you're good so then we'll take this guy flip it around like so put it up in here like that and kind of hold it like that now I'll take this other guy here and kind of like try and wiggle him like this. I have big hands so I can do this. Connect both of these springs. And there you go. And they hold together. Now you want to do the backside spring. So it's going to be this one. It's really tough. That's why I leave these hold down nuts out. It's because it's kind of tough to get this in there. All right, actually, so a good tip is to put one hold down spring in so it doesn't fling apart. So that's what I did with the right side, and I'm gonna try and spring them again, like so. It is kind of difficult. I just hate drums because there's so many moving parts, man, and it's just like, just go with calipers. Why you do this? It's literally less moving parts. If you go caliper. So we'll try and fling this guy in there. Cool. And then some pliers here to get this guy in. You bitch. So I actually had the wrong slot on the spring. So you go to the far back one. I'll show you as soon as I put it on here. It's kind of tough to get in. I have to like angle it. Your freaking fingers back in there, but I don't have. I have too giant a finger. It's like super tiny. So I'll just do this actually. Something like so. I want to do like. That. There we go. And then you want to pull this back with like one of these wire somehow. There we go. Cool. So see, there you go. That's how you put it in. You push this little guy down like so. so that's how it adjusts. That's how the star wheel adjusts. Actually gotta put that down, I think, like so. Let's see. Yeah, so there you go. Let me adjust the star wheel real quick. The surface can never be too clean, so just make sure you get a clean towel and wipe that off. Right, so what you want to do now is make sure that you have the right length for the drum to fit over the shoes. This one I don't, so I actually need to go in more. Just take a flat head, and you just the star wheel until it sucks in. So I'm gonna do that.
pretty much of the uh, a little bit more it's just like just that tiny bit off all right that's that's good enough for me all right, so you just make sure that the slack adjuster is on those ends. Then you can put the rotor or the drum on. All right. So, after you get this all on, put the wheel back on. Clean up your stuff. Alright guys, so that's the uh, video on how to do drum brakes on a 2014 Jeep Patriot. All Jeeps apply though because it's the same thing, so... <laughs>